Hi, this is Dana, um, and uh, Happy New Year to you. Um, I hope you have a wonderful uh, year to come. God guided me to talk uh, in the beginning of this year about um, the most important message at this point in time that God wants to um, convey um, regarding 2022. And that is essentially, um, the message is about flexibility, the importance of flexibility and the strategic approach uh, in your spiritual fighting. We are now um, already uh, past um, uh, the karmic um, uh, board meeting uh, in December uh, when a situational karmic cycle ended. Uh, this is a very important timing in um, spiritual fighting um, and uh, in ascension. <clears throat> now, of course, um, as many, um, God has shown me that he's very pleased that many people have passed uh, tests, uh, even um, many, so many individuals, many souls uh, essentially won uh, and they received justice upon judgment uh, at the end of this um, situational karmic cycle. But also God wanted me uh, to, to convey the fact that also, some of the people who didn't necessarily um, succeeded to end uh, the karmic cycle, uh, so didn't fully win uh, because they uh, woke up to the fight uh, rather late, so they didn't have enough time uh, to carry on all the battles. Uh, God showed me that even those who were facing uh, judgment uh, at the end of December, um, some of them... Uh, still uh, passed some tests and they rose up and they are fighting now. So although they opened the new, they entered the new uh, karmic cycle now, um, they are still victorious because they enter into this karmic cycle fighting. Okay. Uh, so that is, um, that is uh, still a success in God's uh, perception. Um, and of course, uh, that's, uh, they have uh, many opportunities, I'm sure. I've seen God at work and I know he does soul work with the individual who really want and are determined to do redemption. So I'm sure they will uh, benefit of God's help. Um, now, uh, what God wanted me to uh, say regarding all this message is the following. Uh, we came to 3D to do spiritual fighting. So you must get this um, uh, clearly, um, uh, this um goal that you had when you incarnated in on earth right uh, we came to take right uh, to take back rights and uh, to heal uh, essentially um, before we incarnated um, many individuals fallen uh, angels uh, individuals and uh, dark forces created 3d as a as um, as, as a world of deception based on rights they stole from us some some uh, souls, not all, but some souls, which are usually old souls um, with uh, very important um, su succession uh, rights uh, in divine realm, were sent uh, here on earth to carry on the fight and break the bondages, take the rights back and heal. This is because um, their rights are very important. And once a bondage was created on an old soul, many, many other people had to suffer and um, basically those are uh, on a different hierarchy uh, uh, ladder. Uh, they don't have enough power for themselves to fight uh, to break the bondage because the bondage is being done on uh, old souls which are uh, on a higher hierarchy. Uh, so <clears throat> the fight is basically carried on in uh, different stages. And the stage we are in right now uh, in our incarnation is the stage when all souls have to break bondages for themselves, but also for others, because the others which are linked to them, uh, they are not all souls and they don't have the power. For them, it's impossible to uh, break the bondage unless uh, the old soul, um, which uh, has been uh, under bondage uh, linked to them, uh, will succeed. Okay, so this is the phase when all souls have to do this. Um, so when you incarnated, you have to understand that you incarnated in a context, in a circumstance uh, defined by 3D. That means that everyone surround, that surrounds you is an enemy. And this is not the paranoia. 
you have to understand this is something that they created we came in a world created by them so um when i say they are enemies um i'm not talking about on soul level okay what i'm talking about is the fact that those people some of them are um, dark forces uh, possessions uh, and they work for dark forces but some of them are simply under a bondage are very uh, young souls which don't really have the power they didn't live enough lives so they have the power um, in order to um, um, uh, break the bondage which has been uh, inflicted upon them so there were um, uh, gifts stolen from you claims made on you uh, rights stolen from you and all of this was uh, under usurpatory power illegally uh, so you have to break uh, the bondage uh, so others can break uh, those around you so say for example to make it more clear uh, of course it's very difficult to fight against your own family right but you must understand that some of the members of your family work for darkness they are possessed by dark forces and some of uh, others of them uh, simply are not all soul they don't have power uh, to fight it so they cannot see they have a bondage on them uh, which is being created uh, through bondage created on you so you have to let them go you have to fight for yourself break your bondage so enough darkness will be transmuted and then will come the time for them to fight because then they will be able to see okay so uh, when i say everybody around you is enemy I do not label uh, souls, okay? Many of the individuals who work for darkness, you must understand, they do not have a soul. They do not have a soul. They are living here as a fake uh, embodiment through darkness, not sent by God. Or if they were sent by God, they lost many... God has shown me many situations in which some of them lost their soul in very young childhood. Uh, parents uh, who were possessed by darkness traumatized them molested them in ways in which they lost the soul so then they lived up to maturity without the soul um so they became um part of the matrix uh, so uh, we are not labeling we are not judging okay but you must have a clear vision of who's who around you and you must understand to let go of them because you're not helping them simply you're not the only way to help them is to break your bondage because then darkness will be transmuted and some of them will be able to see God will do redemption with them if they um, rise up. God will send souls to them for temporary embodiments so they will remember who they are uh, so their spirit will be uh, um, uh, slowly, slowly awakened. Uh, that's a totally different phase. We are not in that phase and we don't focus on that. We focus on our own fight because this is the only way you can uh, help them. This is the most important way you can help them. Otherwise, you just become a slave and you just feed them and you don't help them. I gave this example before. It's like you have a drug addict in your family and you decide to give him drugs. It doesn't help him. That doesn't help him. Okay. So you must uh, learn to detach and focus on your own business, basically. Um, most of the bondage uh, breaking that you encounter when you start spiritual fighting is deception. So most of it um, uh, is created of parallel realities, which some of them become material existence for you if you don't fight. Fake uh, divine masculines and fake uh, twin flames. These are individuals who either claimed you and they stole you from uh, your counterpart, from your divine masculine or your divine feminine or your tw twin flame, or they stole the soul, uh, or not the soul, but they stole the identity of your true, authentic divine masculine or divine feminine or twin flame. Um, so most of the bondages you break um, are uh, created by them, are not reality, are deception. They will come your way only to stop you. Uh, this is a 3D world and, and most of them are not real. So um, the seeking continuously to find your uh, counterpart uh, and focusing on, on, on a 3D type of couple where you married, make children, and, and this is not uh, helping you. Uh, you must focus on your spiritual fighting. This is the phase we're in. As you fight and break bondage, God will help you to see where 
is the root of your bondage, who you are, um, what was stolen from you. And once this is happening, um, you will achieve clarity and you will continue the breaking bondage, but you will have uh, more uh, a different stance, like an entitlement. You will understand what why this is being done to you. You will see through deception a little bit better um, until you get back uh, what was yours. We are not in that stage yet to take back the uh, initial uh, identity. We are still in the phase of breaking uh, bondages, still in the, fa in the phase of um, fighting uh, fake uh, realities created by them, fake counterfeit uh, individuals who claim to be your twin flame, who claim to be your uh, divine masculine and so on. Um, so the best thing you can do is now to fight and break these bondages. Don't let them lure you in. Don't let, let them um, tempt you. Uh, because um, I know from experience, I have fought for years and years and years and everything and everyone I met were just counterfeit, just counterfeit. Um, and if they succeed to fool you, then they only uh, uh, get uh, to open another karmic cycle with you. Uh, and then you start the fight again from the beginning, okay? Um, this, again, will create the opportunity for others who don't have your power to fight for themselves, will free people. This is what God told me uh, at this end of a situational karmic cycle when I uh, I received justice. God said, this way you, you freed so many people but just by breaking um, the bondage uh, on you and, and uh, succeeding to keep breaking it until the uh, uh, the end of the situational karmic cycle. Because the tendency is you break one or two or three or ten bondages, right? Um, and at some point, um, you think, okay, now I've, I, I arrived to the destination. And that, that is not true. Uh, you have to keep doing this until you get to the uh, your situational karmic cycle, okay? Uh, so you can actually win. Uh, in this phase, just a few of us came uh, here, as I said, from uh, for bondage breaking. Uh, those that are all souls and are meant to do this for a, um, a for broader communities who are waiting for us to win, so they can start their own fight. Um, as we succeed, other people will be able to uh, carry on their fights. So make sure you don't cling to people, you don't cling to places, you. Um, you help others more if you uh, walk on your path and break your bondage um, you and achieve the goals that uh, were divinely orchestrated for you when you uh, incarnated. Um, the concept of uh, healing others, for example, uh, is just a concept created uh, to block you. Of course, on your path, you're doing good for others, you're doing good deeds. But it's one thing to encounter individuals, help them, and then move on. And it's another thing to make this um, a, a, a profession or a, a label, an identity in itself. I, it's very wrong, uh, the mindset, when you say, I'm a healer. No, you're not a healer. You have your own purpose. Of course, all of us em are empaths uh, and, and we have the ability to heal. But you only are meant to heal individuals um, which come your way for certain purpose. They either come your way to transform that healing into uh, uh, feeding on you or they come sent by God because the two of you have a bondage and by healing um, you you succeed to, uh, to uh, see through that uh, deception. But don't cling to that. It's not your purpose to stay into this mindset where you um, devote yourself, uh, your purpose, and you find your purpose in healing others. This is not it. Nobody came here just to heal others. You must understand. Uh, in 5D, each and every individual has uh, the same power of uh, healing and of um, of spiritual fighting. Nobody is serving others by healing. Uh, you help others because you have certain abilities, knowledge, and gifts which they don't have. But you do this in an exchange. That individual will do something for you as well. You're not a slave for anyone to keep um, uh, uh, healing them. This is the, the uh, concept of a healer. It's the basis of um, enslavement. This is how these individuals who are being possessed by dark forces survive because they have uh, others fooled that they are healers and essentially what they do, they feed on them continuously arguing that you're a healer so then you should heal me. No, no, you should heal yourself. Okay? Um, 
self sacrifice this is god uh, uh, used this word this is self sacrifice misguided it's one thing to be of service but you are not of service to individuals you are of service to uh, to god and to divine realm who established uh, divinely orchestrated um, uh, goals and and um, uh, purpose for you uh, so god specifically said me these words self sacrifice misguided um uh, when you uh, believe that your role is only to heal others around you and this is the basis of enslavement um you're not supposed to fight other people's battles you're not supposed these toxic relations uh, are created by when you believe that you should rescue others and uh, i want to say that i look on my facebook page I'm not pointing fingers. I even had a project of rescuing others. I went myself through all of this. I said in the beginning of my videos, um, everything that I share, all the knowledge I share, comes from my own personal experience in my own spiritual fighting. Do not believe ever that I advise anyone to do something um, and I didn't go through um, uh, the temptation of being... Uh, um, in deception myself on that many of them I, I succeeded to overcome with god's help uh, uh but some of them i went through them myself uh, so if you look on my page in 2018 2019 something like this you will see that i had a, a project named rescuing others and um god slowly slowly uh, brought me back to the um, um uh, right uh, approach to this and show me you help others you do not rescue anyone. Nobody can be rescued. Of course, you help in many different ways, but this is not your goal. This is not your, this is part of who you are. You do this because um, you want others to be helped, but at no point in time, you jeopardize your purpose, your path, and your goal uh, to help others. You don't allow this to become toxic, to drag you down, okay? Because uh, for, for the simple reason that um, in the battles, there are lessons they must learn. They must learn to own their power. They must learn to own their gifts. Because you help them now, but then you leave. Because this is your path to leave. And they are not able to stand on their feet. And they fall again. Unless they win through their own battle, um, they will not be able uh, to stand up on their own feet and uh, uh, to uh, continue to walk the path. Uh, so you do not rescue others. You do not fight battles for them. Um, you just simply uh, ask guidance from God every time when you want to help someone because many times it's a trap. Many times it's just a trap. Uh, so the overall message is that you, uh, for 2022, you must be, uh, be flexible. This is a dynamic process. God has shown me already by now, they already changed strategies because they lost a lot uh, during this uh, end of the situational karmic cycle, judgment uh, and punishment on them. So they already changed plans. So we must be flexible and, and uh, adapt. God adapts and comes up with new strategies to counter their new plans. Always, always. I have seen this in my spiritual journey and in my spiritual fighting. I had, for example, I'll give you an example. I had uh, different guidance when I left uh, my um, property in Romania in 2019. Um, my destination was Nepal. They blocked that for me. I tried for like six months uh, to get to Nepal, uh, and it was impossible from Europe, and it was impossible. Uh, I went. God uh, redirected me. He said, uh, "Then you go to Latin America, uh, and you break different bondage so you can." Um, transmute some of the darkness so you can see more about your um, roots uh, and there uh, you uh, I went to Peru and God uh, that, as I said in the previous um, video talking about relocation God um, showed me uh, actually initially I went to Chile where I broke the bondage on the archives of the scripts I learned about that I learned about scripts made by uh, on me I went to then God guided me to go to Peru where I uh, uh, broke bondage and he showed me um, exactly this as I said in the previous video uh, people uh, God said all of them were waiting for you to come to break your bondage because none of them can break it they all depend on you you break this bondage they get to break their own bondage 
If you don't, they cannot. Uh, so um, then God guided me to go uh, to Mexico where I had to fight and break bondage uh, created on my father uh, in order for them to reach me and create bondage on me. Okay. Uh, so, uh, but uh, I had different guidance uh, from Peru, for example, uh, God wanted me to go to Africa to break bondage. It was impossible. All paths were blocked. Um, he, also from Peru, God guided me to go to Canada uh, and the United States uh, as they both uh, create a single astral space. Um, it was impossible. Even you can imagine in, in Canada with my passport, I didn't even need a visa. And it was in, from Peru to Canada was very short path. It was impossible for me to go. So all of my paths were uh, blocked. Um, God always guided me to go in a different way. So uh, in Peru, uh, I was blocked from going to Canada or United States, although I was very close to them or to Africa or to Nepal. I couldn't go anywhere. So God said, fine, then you go to Mexico and you break bondage created on your father because this is how they reached you in the first place. And I went to Mexico. I was touching the border with the United States. I couldn't cross. I just couldn't cross. I broke the bondage in Mexico, created on my father. And then he said, now you go back to Romania to finish business there and break the bondage they created on your father. Because this is how they keep you hostage in, in these uh, uh, bondages. So uh, uh, what I mean is that you must be flexible. Although, of course, I had... Uh, totally different guidance at different times. Every time I understood that they succeeded in moving faster than I did and they succeeded to block uh, some. And this can happen for certain reasons. Either that you couldn't manifest properly something and then they succeeded to block it before you, you succeeded to manifest it. Or God wanted to work for you to create an opportunity through uh, individuals, other individuals. But those refused to do God's work. I have uh, encountered these situations where uh, uh, certain individuals were supposed to help me to get to certain countries. They initially said yes. And God told me, he is supposed to do this for you. He's supposed to take you to Canada. And then, like, in short time, that individual would change his mind. Then God would say, okay, he fall. Move on. Let's change strategy. Let's find somebody else. Let's find something else. Let's go somewhere else. Uh, because you cannot stay put. You must move on and you must keep uh, breaking bondage because uh, there is a timeline and there is a, a, a deadline when you have to break a certain number of bondages simply because with each bondage that you break, you gain more power, uh, you uh, see more clearly, you uh, get act activated more gifts on you so you can do manifestation and man manifesting and many other uh, things much uh, uh, much easier and in, in a better circumstance. So this is the picture that God asked me to convey to you uh, at the beginning of the year. Uh, overall, um, God um, is very pleased uh, with certain individuals. Um, God has shown me also that he's disappointed in some others who benefited of numerous opportunities from God uh, to um, uh, redeem, but they simply just uh, refuse. Um, it's a mixed um, um, result, but in my mind, uh, up until uh, December, to be honest, I was seeing so many uh, possessed individuals and so many attacks and so many that um, seeing God this happy uh, at this point in time about um, so many people still makes me uh, think that this was a success. Uh, and of course, we have to uh, be very cautious because now that they uh, lost and uh, we succeeded to this is my dog you guys I'm sorry <laughs> he keeps popping into my uh, camera uh, and um, uh, as I said uh, this leads me to believe that uh, we succeeded but we must be cautious because they will always try um, to uh, uh, make us um, lose what we gained they, they fight uh, for uh, taking back whatever we succeeded. Uh, and we are still not done fighting and, and winning. Um, so uh, flexibility, uh, spiritual fighting, uh, strategic approach, um, and understand that uh, relocation, even a temporary relocation, 
if it's guided by God, uh, it will lead you um, to uh, success, to uh, get out of a, a blockage where they succeeded to corner you. Um, so even if it, it's not permanent, even, even if it's temporary, uh, it is important uh, in order to be able to, if you cannot break the bondage on which you are focused, to at least break a different bondage so you can um, uh, activate more gifts, so you can um, uh, diminish the power they have um, in blocking you. I will stop here. I hope I succeeded to uh, convey um, correctly the message uh, God asked me to. I hope uh, it was clear enough for you. Always uh, please uh, comment, uh, um, subscribe and like. Um, ask me questions if something is not clear enough. Uh, I'm not necessarily in the proper uh, conditions uh, to create um, the videos I would prefer to. Uh, but I understand that the messages are important and God has shown me that on YouTube there's a different audience than on Facebook. And um, he he actually, uh, when he insisted at uh, uh, this uh, end of situational karmic cycle that I would do video uh, YouTube, he essentially said you will meet your um, soul uh, family there. So you have to do YouTube even if you don't show your face because of the attacks that are directed at you, even if you're not in the condition uh, to have um, the type of work um, that you would prefer, the quality of the video and, and the performance that you would prefer, you must understand that this is the way that you will find your soul uh, family um, as you are scattered around the world and you guys must come together in the next phase. Uh, so don't postpone this because this is part of um, of this phase. It's a mandatory uh, thing for you. Um, so uh, I finally listened to uh, to God on this topic. I, I put aside my ego and I started doing videos in the, the conditions, the circumstances and um, uh, with uh, the technology that I have at this point in time. Um, and um, I hope that you will do the same, uh, namely adapt to whatever guidance you receive from God. Uh, in order to uh, be able to learn tr the truth, the divine truth, and find um, ways uh, to succeed. Again, I wish you a um, successful uh, new year, um, much determination, strength, uh, resilience uh, in this fight, um, and um, whatever is uh, for your highest good, whatever is for your highest good to come your way. Uh, thank you, and please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment um, on my videos. So we'll make sure that um, the knowledge I'm sharing um, reaches as many people as possible. Thank you.